Good morning, people. Solomon here. And it's a horrible day out there today in the UK where I am. Rain, wind, not very nice at all. But this thumbnail I have is of a film, and you all know it. It was a good film. Certainly made people think. They kind of lost it later on with the other films, but this one was the best. And I always remember sitting in the cinema, and you heard that music, and then you saw these horses coming, and then they showed the ape on a horse. And considering when it was made, the makeup artists were pretty damn good. They wear masks, and they still look pretty good, if you watch it today. But I've got a few news items, and I'll put links down below, to show you how society is collapsing in front of our very eyes. It's been taken over by wokeism, which of course comes from femons, and they're destroying the fabric of society and the quality of life, even for themselves. So here's the first news item, and I think we all know who this chappy is. He's the frontman of Aerosmith. And he's had a few ups and downs just recently. But there's a lawsuit against him by, of course, a femon. That he had a sexual relationship with her when she was underage. Now, did this happen last year or two years ago? No, apparently this happened in the mid-1970s. So let's assume 1975. That would make it 47, nearly 48 years ago. Why this femon waited so long to say something... I think we all can guess. Obviously her life isn't doing too well and she wants some money. Because really, what type of proof can she give apart from her word, which we know Femon's lie profusely? But well, maybe this Femon just wants to get justice. No, it's never about justice with Femons. It's all about money. It's a shakedown. Then maybe she's thinking they'll just give her some money to go away. And I'm sure glad that I'm not a celebrity or have big money because femons would hover around, vultures-like, waiting to scam. Of course, they're all empowered. They can work real hard and make money, but that's damn too much work. Anyway, apparently he's been accused of sexual assault, sexual battery, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Oh, God. And the lawsuit also claims that the plaintiff... At the time, was powerless to resist. Well, I bet she didn't. He was quite successful in those days, and he had lots of money. And he was a celebrity. All the things Femons love. But this lawsuit is nothing new. We've seen it many times against men by Femons. And it's always about money. I mean, do these Femons think we believe them, what they're saying? It's about the money. It's always been about the money. It always will be about the money. So you be careful, you guys out there, even me, thinking back in many years ago when I was a younger man, they could come out of the woodwork any time. But they won't come for me, because I've got no money. Then I hope this lawsuit absolutely goes nowhere. Because, to be honest, if it was so traumatic and whatever for this Femon, then she would have said something about it. A lot sooner than 47 years later. Now, here's a picture of a very sweet, angelic femon. Now, she's in a McDonald's, I believe, in Australia. And she threw a rangy or something. She even threatened to beat some people up in there. She climbed over the counter and went into the kitchen and got herself a burger and a couple of drinks. Now, I don't know why she threw a rangy or whatever, but this is happening all too often, all over the world. These femons need to be charged, fined, or even put in jail, because this is antisocial behavior. And this femon's only 19 years old. But you can imagine the stress it puts on the workers in this place. Now, this is an unusually young femon going through this craziness. But usually there's a lot of older femons, but they act about 10 years old. Apparently the police arrived anyway, and they did arrest her with disorderly, and apparently she damaged the door as well. I believe she threw a bottle of drink at somebody. But until there's real laws against this, and they actually enforce them, these femons will keep doing it. If they charged every femon that did this, and I mean really charged them, or fined them, or put them in jail for a little while, you watch this sort of action stop. They are acting just like spoiled little children, no matter what age the femon is. But it's more proof how disgusting Femons have become. Now, of course, if you go back 20 years, maybe 25 or so, if somebody acted like this anywhere, 
Then somebody would come, and they would be taken away, and they would be mentally evaluated, and probably sent to a psychic ward. But these type of femons are walking amongst us everywhere, and they're not just a danger to society, they're a danger to themselves. Anyway, so here's another story, of, well, funny enough, about a femon. Now this happened in a Walmart, I believe, in the United States. And this femon had a very young child in her arms, and she was walking along in the store with her aunt. But this femon was obviously shoplifting, and when these people come up to her and accused her of shoplifting, she put the baby on the ground and kicked it through a doorway. I guess the aunt picked the baby up and then the femon started attacking the baby and shaking it. And this is what sometimes happens with femons when they get caught red-handed. They try and use deflection, but surely not to a young child like that. The femon was arrested and the baby was given to her aunt. But this femon shouldn't see that baby for a very, very long time. The baby wasn't hurt, apparently. But just think about it if a man put a baby on the ground like that and kicked it through a doorway. The man would be in jail for probably a very long time. And she's not on medication, she should be. When you see femons being absolutely disgusting human beings, they can even get lower than what you think they can get. Now here's another news story. Well, not really. But oh, sorry guys, I know that's not nice to look at. But this is a femon that actually appears on Loose Women, which is a program just like The View in America, where a bunch of middle-aged old femons get together and do nothing but talk about things they know nothing about. But this femon's a 58-year-old femon and she decided to do something unusual. She started stripping off. They never do that, do they? And of course, instead of saying to her, you know, stop stripping off, act your age, you're an old lady, you're a mother of two, the headline said, she's been praised for her honesty. Well, I guess because she's 58 years old and her body looks like it, but she still showed it off, she's very honest. Well, not to me, she's just a one-trick pony, like they all are. And it doesn't seem to matter what age they are, they're all doing it. Just once they could think of something different, but nope, they're all the same, aren't they? So this actually shows you that they never ever grow up, do they? This isn't empowering and just being honest. This is embarrassing, and they're degrading themselves. Then maybe her next stop will be OnlyFans. Now actually, I'm quite an old person myself, but while I'm talking to you, I'm actually stripping off. And I've got down to my underpants at the moment. And because I'm old, my body doesn't look great, but at least I'm honest. <laughs> so anyway, there's a few stories just to show you how society is collapsing around us all over the place. And it's kind of funny that every news item that shows us that we're collapsing happens to be a femon. Femons don't seem to even be bothered with the illusion that they have class anymore. Actually, they never did. It was always an illusion. Oh, and my underpants are now off. God. Do I feel free and empowered? Take it easy, fellas.